Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon R6 and the Sony A7R IV. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon R6 and the Sony A7R IV are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 9th of July 2020 and the 16th of July 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon R6. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7R IV. For portrait photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon R6 and the Sony A7R IV. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon R6. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A7R IV. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon R6. I absolutely love the Canon EOS R6. The image quality is exceptional, the 4K video capabilities are impressive, and the fast performance and dual memory card slots make it a versatile and reliable tool for photography and videography. The only downside might be the premium price, but in my opinion, it's worth every penny for the quality it offers. I highly recommend the EOS R6 for both professionals and enthusiasts. I bought the Canon camera for my friend and he loves it. The camera comes with a lens and a touchscreen. It's easy to use and supports two SD cards. It's a bit expensive but a great product overall. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7R IV. The camera is amazing, with great ergonomics and weight. However, I had a terrible experience buying from Amazon. They are unresponsive and slow with returns and refunds. I recommend buying from a dedicated camera dealer instead. I have both the A7R 4 and the A90 cameras. The A7R 4 is not great for low light, but with a prime lens 1.4, it produces great shots. However, with a 2.8 lens, there is noticeable grain. The A90 is better for professional use offering high ISO and minimal noise, making it perfect for low-light photojournalism and sports. Both cameras have great autofocus, but the A9E is more advanced in low-light situations. I love both cameras and recommend buying both if you can afford it. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon R6. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A7R IV. We will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10.